How's it going, everybody? Dotodoy here, back with another Dragon Ball Fighters video for you all today. And this time, we are once again going back to the newly revealed DLC character for Dragon Ball Fighters, Super Baby 2. And I am super excited because the reason we are doing that is because we finally have our hands on one, the really clean looking skins that will allow us to see all of these really amazing super shots in really good detail and much better English translations that clear up some of the stuff we talked about last time and still make Baby sound like an absolutely ridiculous ridiculous character to play. Let's go ahead and get started by taking a look at the first scan that does in fact feature one of those very same mechanics. So at first we do get a full shot of Baby's render that is going to be used for the game. We also get a shot of what could be either, honestly it could go either way. It is framed a little more like a victory screen though. But again, they have done some really crazy things with victory screens before and we'll get into what they could do with Baby later, but GT Goku as an example has pretty much a victory cutscene. And if you're wondering what the text around Baby 2 in these areas says, the newest English translation from this user again this was the same one we used for the rough translations last time uh basically it's just explaining who baby is normally i wouldn't get into these details but really quickly i did notice that a lot of people more so than ever before seem to be confused on who baby is so if you aren't aware or maybe didn't watch gt this line pretty much sums it up he's a parasitic creature that wants to take revenge on the saiyans that appeared on the anime dragon ball gt so yeah if you're just a dragon ball fighters fan and aren't too familiar with super baby 2 basically he took over vegeta's body morphed it to the point where he basically became his own being and uh, can go into a golden grade ape. Again, weirdly, I know we're looking at his moveset, but I don't want to spoil it for you. I just saw a few people were confused on where this character was coming from. So that is his backstory. And now let's get into that mechanic that was really scary yesterday. The one that we talked about where Baby could use his allies' dead assist. It was actually a really rough translation. We didn't get that entirely right, but you'll be happy to know he's still snapped. You can defeat and brainwash your opponent's allies and use their assist, which I do think makes it a little more balanced purely based on the fact that, you know, you won't get to use your preferred combo routes most of the time you won't just have your ally die and still get them but this still allows baby to be an insane anchor with access to assist combos so as long as your opponent is playing good characters which most of the time they probably will be with good assists you can make a lot of use out of those you can see the translated text says here defeat and brainwash your opponent's allies and use them once you defeat the opponent you can use their z assist using their own body now of course there's still a lot of mechanics behind this that we aren't entirely sure of like will there be a special input behind this will you just click the assist button Will it be a limited use, etc., etc.? All of these things can affect the strength of how good this mechanic is, but just on paper right now, it still sounds pretty busted. And now we're moving on to another mechanic, and I'm going to be honest, guys, I thought this was already good, but I, I misread this last time. I could not make it out in the scan, but Darkness Spring Shot is a move in which Baby jumps back and throws two Key Blasts, and if you miss, they'll come back. But that's not it. Baby's normal Key Blast apparently come back as well. <laughs> Either that or Baby has a very similar move to Darkness Spring Shot as well, as you can see here, they show two different frames of Baby in the air throwing a normal Key Blast down, and then it misses and comes back to Goku GT, and then you have Darkness Spring Shot, which the translation specifies as while rotating and rising up, you throw out two Key Blasts, the ones that don't hit will come back from off screen. So that seems to only be the translation for Darkness Spring Shot, but again, I want to go back to the other shot of Baby throwing what looks to be a much smaller, much more contained Key Blast that also comes back to hit GT Goku. This is obviously insanely wild to me because you would assume that would be a really really pressuring thing to go through. Obviously, you have Super Dash to counter that, but if let's say you're going up against a baby that can also use his defeated opponents as assists, so he's technically not alone, he could still lock you down as an anchor while throwing these key blasts that bend back. Even the translator seems to be a bit confused because the scan mentions that there is no mechanic that operates like this, and then they mention in parentheses, uh, this one's confusing. I'm not sure what mechanic, what effect they're talking about here, but it very well might be that if you miss with baby, it just comes bouncing right back anyway. <laughs> So that does sound really crazy, and this is something that we are 100% going to have to wait to see the trailer for, or just get hands on time with, but this could end up being one of the best things about this character. Who knows? It sounds really good to me. But that about does it for the first scan, and now we can move on to the second scan containing his super moves, and this one we got mostly right, but now we have even extra added details that should clear up some of the great ape stuff. Up first on this scan, though, I do want to point out what also could be a victory screen for Baby, and that is him posing with the great ape behind him. That would be equivalent to GT Goku's victory uh, cutscene like we talked about earlier. And man, this shot looks so good. This would definitely be the thumbnail of this video if I could position it properly. <laughs> That's how good this shot is. And with that comparison to GT Goku, I do want to actually bring up that Baby seems to be almost like a, uh, a very similar design sort of character to GT Goku in the sense that his revenge death ball is a level three, that the translation states generates a huge ball above your head and hits the opponent. Its range is incredibly wide. Will this 
operate like the spirit bomb? I'm not entirely sure, but he does have it as an extra level three with another one with that being the grade eight. So it could very well be a different kind of spirit bomb, which would be really cool. His basic level one is full power energy wave. This is super standard. Not much to talk about here. Um, the translator notes that is most likely is DHC. And I would agree with that. It does seem like a very likely option for the DHC considering they haven't listed any other level ones here. And then we move on to the great ape stuff that we finally have more clarity on. So yes, it is just a cinematic level three, but when you use it with all your characters alive, you will get a lashing out of the great ape. And if one of your characters is dead again, much like GT Goku, this attack takes on a different form and is instead the great ape firing what looks to be a gallic gun. So yeah, for being a follow-up GT character to GT Goku, this is actually pretty similar. It looks like they wanted to keep some themes going for the GT stuff. Oh, and it also doesn't have anything to do with Super Baby, but look at these manga colors for Vegeta. He's finally getting those options and man, does it look good. These look even better than the Goku colors. The light blue honestly looks like they just ripped it straight off one of the colored pages from the manga. But yeah, with that, let me know all of your thoughts on these new updated scans and translations. And of course, check out the translator. He does really great work as well. But yeah, of course, make sure to let me know your thoughts on Super Baby and these insane mechanics down below. While you're down there, if you like the video and the channel, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to stay up to date on Dragon Ball Fighters. And of course, we will be streaming Baby's trailer. Uh, at some point, we'll be streaming the whole tournament tonight at 11 p.m. EST. So come out to the Twitch channel if you're excited for that as well. But yeah, other than that, check out some other videos that should be on your screen right now. I have been Dr. Doya, and I will see you in the comments section below.